Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. George Lincoln Rockwell Lover. Well, we got to talk about Reconstruction being over, a couple, uh, quite a few comments, and uh, finishing out this campaign. Uh, the course of Reconstruction revealed the true ideological basis for why Hoover was unable to fix the economy. The wise constituents of these windbags have largely voted them out by now as the GDP rises and the American standard of living rises and even exceeds pre war levels. National Education Administration. In the wake of the collapse of CSA, the National Education Association is folded and its members dispersed. With most teachers being apolitical and the union never being able to exert much partisan power over them, it makes a strong candidate for rehabilitation by the new American government. And we could create that thing over there, but let's continue with the reverse of the decay. Our society, ever given more ground to the outsiders, has experienced degeneracy, decay, racial mixing, and spiritual syphilis. It's time to restore the true American culture, the culture of the founders of Davy Crockett and the Alamo. We'll wake up millions of young white men and organize them against our ever encroaching <coughs> colored masses and their masters. When the white man takes his rightful place in society once more, we will prosper. Cool. But right now, we are on the precipice of another major conflict, global conflict. Between, uh, not between us and Moscow Accord. Oh, Moscow Accord's looking pretty nice in the Balkans. Italy looks like they're suffering quite greatly under the Dona Edge The Reichspact looks very strong, but that's a group that we have to fight because they have a very strong South American presence, and that's a no go for us. And yes, we just got 1939 rifles and 1943 because I'm a little bit behind on rifles, but whatever. Um, in the meantime, we need to make sure we do okay here. So, we do have quite a few uh, ships. Not that many, honestly. Could be way better. We don't have that many planes, but we do need to go in and try to strike them while the iron is hot, of course. Um, so we'll see what happens with the Reichs Pact. Uh, I did not realize that these guys actually joined um, the Reichs Pact, so yeah. And then you guys are here too. You guys actually should be able to push these guys out, but we'll see what happens when we go to war. Why did they become a puppet of Germany? Ah, uh, they must have been at war with them like that. Okay, makes sense, I guess. Of course, at war with the Reichs Pact as well over here. Um, you guys go through here. You guys are ready to invade. Um, I believe these guys are in the Reichs Pact as well, so if you can invade Cuba fast enough, that'd be great. My goal is not to take out Cuba, really, or at least annex them. Well, maybe in the end it would be too. But if you want to read about uh, the volcano erupted in the Michoacan, please go right ahead. Can you guys actually do anything here? That'd be cool if you could. So the Reichs Pact, it's a lot of nations. And Legion of Two Sicilies, which is whatever. Could you guys actually win here? Maybe. Maybe a little bit, at least. Uh-oh. Oh, good God. Did we lose anything here? Not too much yet. A lot of convoys. Makes sense. Buckery gear subs, subs, subs. I'm going to drastically increase the amount of uh, naval bombers we're actually making. Yeah, way, 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 way more. Because we're making, trying to make a lot more... Combos and whatnot. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how well we do. German Navy is not to be underestimated, though. A lot of convoys being sunk, which is good. Oh. Oh. That's weird. But okay, whatever. In here. Banshees lost. Valkyrie gear subs. Convoys. You know, whatever. You guys got them. That's good. Do the best you can for now. Roof subs died. Good. Let him get here too. Should be able to win here. Oh God, you guys are taking forever. No wonder you got took forever there. All right, because you got half destroyed there, which is not good. And if it doesn't go well, we'll do some fucking stuff off screen. Lost fifteen. Ah, oh, lost fifteen American convoys. That's why. Oh, goes the Italian Federation. All right. And now, we do this. Combine assaults. Yes, sir. Yes, we can. Havana will be ours as we're trying to push through all there. And burst of decay. You two. Where are you guys at? Um, I'm going to say, uh, you guys are up there. You guys are over there. All three of you guys do that. Solid front. Right there. We should have more than a supply through here already. Cool. And if it's reached our slot finally, it'll be very, very nice as well. Um, good. Good. 
And get it in there, please, please, please. And there we go. Follow Havana? You betcha. Lost quite a few guys already, which sucks, but whatever. Um, ooh. Carry the bomber, which is fine, whatever. Did you guys actually able to... Alright, let's see what's good. Now the division's nice. Can you guys actually move out and do okay here? No? Kinda disappointing, not gonna lie. <clears throat> You gotta get more experience in this, right? No? How? That's my, my question. How? Uh, what the heck, guys? Come on. Sure, Liberia, we can have an aggression pact. Don't even wanna see that. Um, don't see that either. It's fine. Slowly, bit by bit, they'll all die. We lost probably quite a few guys, 150,000. We must have killed off a lot of the Reichsback members already. 1.5 million. We're all not bad. Uh, go ahead and come here. See what you, what you can do about that. Supplies are really bad around here as well, of course. Naturally. Just in case, go right there. How about you guys go here and take the port here so they have even less they can do here as well? Put a port on that side too. Cool, so far we seem like we're doing generally okay ish around here. Generally do okay ish around here too. Brazil. Not a lot of manpower left. Reverse of decay. America for Christians. Simple fact that America has always been a Christian nation. Our predecessors seem to have difficulty acknowledging this fact. We do not. We must strive to be a country compared to good Christian men and women and expel any non-believers, especially the Jewish agitators. Keep adding stuff here. This one. Recon two is not bad. Go. With, uh, we could go with recon three, but we're gonna go with that one just in case. Just in case. Find all their ships. Find them all. Sink them all. Definitely use more naval bombers, though. Any more naval bombers? Not too many more. A couple fighters here and there. Probably throw them all together in one giant hodgepodge crew. And some naval bombers. Alright, Japan, relax. Well, they want to attack, well, we'll attack them there then, too. There goes Bolivia, which is very good. Up mouth right there. Ooh, okay, that was that by, huh? Kill them all off. Guantanamo Bay, eh? All I want is really South America. That's really all I care about. Which 
Just keep thinking everything the thing they got. Nice. Happy 1943, everybody. If you want to worry about that, please go right ahead. You can hope they recover. America for Christians. Rockwell's intense to stand for Jews and other religious minorities in America has been ever known since his first public appearance of speeches. Even uh, before his rise of power, Rock, uh, Rockwell had many supporters, including the wealthy Harold A. N. Aerosmith, who funded many of the young leaders' early operations against these groups. These operations, including burnings and attacks on Jewish-owned businesses and property, with Rockwell in power, as gains have now been able to act with impunity as laws have been put in place that allow them to free reign on attacking groups that Rockwell deemed as socially corrupt. With a new campaign, he has named America for Christians. Uh, Rockwell started an aggressive message for across America that promotes Protestant Christian groups and even other Christians, but officially targets the religious minorities, and paves the way for unfortunate disappearances of large groups of people that Rockwell has marked in his messages of being criminally dangerous in their beliefs. It is thought that these disappearances have taken the form of deportation, though further details are unknown. Disappearances, you say? Mysterious disappearances. Fighting crime. The Christian strife in America was caused partly by a rise in crime in a great country. Most criminals are blacks and other minorities who, are, while they are only following their instincts, are still dangerous. We must deal with these groups to restore order to American society will only prevail in this task through absolute terror against those who aim to destroy our society. Followed up with, follow the founders. The founders are geniuses, for they created a perfect balance between left and right, that is, between freedom and authority. Since then, we've had move, we have moved too far towards liberty and our society suffered. We must restore the authority of our fathers and policemen and our soldiers and government, and in doing so, we'll follow the examples of the fathers in creating a true authoritarian society through force and order. Cool. <clears throat> now, the reason why I've not decided to attack them yet is because this is a very good way to find the convoys and sink them, sink them, sink them. So, Liberian frontier's gone, huh? Well, Jesus Christ. Ah, it's a big Liberia. Tubman, huh? And part of them split down here, too, which is actually really fine with me. Um, anything else here? Not too much. Cares are doing a great job, though. As long as they don't have to attack any other planes, I'm okay with it. This was, was what the way I wanted, you know? I'm here to serve. Serve exactly what they wanted. Did you try to encircle us, you son of a gun? And we've lost over, over a third of a million. We've killed over two million, though, so overall, I'm, that's, that's pretty fair. Ah, subs. Another dreadnought, nice. Good, 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 good. Anything else here? Nope. About South Atlantic States, yep. Could use a little more stability, though. How are we doing down here? Doing all right? Nice. Nice. Chile is gone, which is very good. Fighting crime. Rock was announced a new struggle against the criminal population of America and those who have reasonable suspicion to make crimes in the future do, too. The ancestral ties of crime and degeneracy. Following these announcements, there is a significant increase in policing budgets, particularly for police and National Guard stations in the Deep South and Black Belt of America. These efforts have led to a noticeable increase in the police presence in black neighborhoods and cities in the rural parts of the South, with even some National Guard troops performing patrols in areas such as Tulsa, Oklahoma. With the restoration of order in Maya, police departments have been increasing patrols. Um, uh, ooh. Increasing arrests for breaking Jim Crow laws and fighting African Americans with charges of causing commotion at late times, even those for simply walking out past 5 p.m. Even the death penalty has been increasingly used in the state's prisons against prisoners who have already been in prison for years before the new crime fighting bills. Finally, the white man can sleep peacefully. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. Okay, whatever. More nav bombers? I'm never thinking fire's not bad. More cast, yes. Go and throw them down here, too. Scout planes, pretty useless, not gonna lie. There you go. That's one way to do it. Oh, there you guys are guys coming down here pretty quick, darn quickly. Well, you guys have almost linked up. You guys are down here, so I want you guys to come back this way. Alright, let's wrap this group up here. Oh, another carrier. God dang, that's a lot of carriers. On these carriers. They do have a lot of casts as well, so. Actual casts. Follow the founders. Now, I'll create the SM SMWET. The Engineering Science Math Ma Management Award Training, or SMWET, is a branch of the Department of Commerce to decentralize technological challenges or changes. Instead of cooperation that disrupt competition given given unfair advantage to certain businesses, this program disperses its finance freely to the public. This way, they have to go through here for the most part, so they can get through here. Um, I don't really want to talk about the Covenant or these guys. I want to do read about this when I do Evan, so I really don't want this one yet. But, you know what, I guess we'll read it anyways. So, got young clan under George Lincoln Rockwell has won the day. The control of the country is for now secure, though there are several threats to deal with before the young clan rule will be able to rule as they see fit. Well, George Lincoln Rockwell reassures the league he'll be no less forgiven as the nation's enemies than Simmons was. He also brings with him reforms in an attempt to end the nation's current instability. Just a god-awful amount of combos just dying in the water. And I love it. Because the enemies of America... We don't want to kill off the Germans. We really don't. But they just did not want to see reason, so. And what can you do when your enemies refuse to see reason? Build the south for now, too. Quite good. Good. He's all six. Iron Sides Lancer. Big guns. Yeah, let's, let's make sure we get a lot of hits on him. We're also going to remove whatever the covenant. Deal the Dixocrats. The old Dixocrats or Democrats say the spirit of America neither the Democratic Party itself. Some machines can be. Oh, look at that. Nice. Great. Uh, use, a useful extension of our own powers so long as they respect the new authority found in the leader of the DWL, George Lincoln Rockwell. Oh. Nice. Sinking some smaller task forces. Beautiful thing, really. 21, 27, 5%. Uh, no, not learning too much more right now. Uh, 
and three. Get some more output two. Anything else here? Church of the Fiery Cross. White Protestantism not only advances the interests of the white man, but that of the white woman as well. The example of Alma White shall be followed and given women who commit themselves to the white supremacy greater positions in her churches and local police or politics. Stewart was given the female auxiliary of our organization increased benefits paid for via increasingly nonconformist funds and Catholic churches. What is not to love? Let's rip here anyways. There's a lot more of that. Ah, oh, they really severely mobilize a way more. Oh, when did you get imprisoned? Keep on sinking the living crap out of everything there. Anything else? You're not a logistics wizard yet. Charismatic, you only have one more slot, so we want to save it for something else. There's only 6% towards becoming organized, but that's not very good, now is it? Uh, more casts? Fighters? Yes. Twenty nine five is a little better than it was earlier. Let's take a look see. Hmm. Repair or fitting, yeah. And night fighting, visibility, screen attack. Positioning's not bad. Uh, torpedo hit chance not bad, so that's a battle. Brave Commander's chance score critical hit. Torpedo hit chance, not bad too. Let's go with positioning maybe, close combat, screen attack. Yeah, let's go. Efficient communications. We got a lot of ships. And they communicate very efficiently. The most efficiently. Not quite there yet. Head of the ODP, while well, many think uh, Alpha Bell should still be leader of the ODP, and perhaps it matters little now. And the ODP has become a little more than a front organization for the NDWL. It's true among official designations such as state and local office. They're also an organization or organiza organizing force on their behalf, and as such. Uh, <clears throat> some members of the ODP have been jockeying to be appointed the head of this party and increase their status in the process. Some believe the head of the ODP should be an NDWL member, and while uh, thus more outright subservient to us than officially a wing of the NDWL, we we'll want to keep them as a controlled opposition force, seeing them as more useful in this role. The fight is between Bossard, who wants to represent the ODP as a member of the NDWL, and Eugene Talmage, who wants to remain more independent but would command more traditional old democratic loyalty. Who should do? Probably Bossard, yeah, Bossard. I don't trust his elders. Wow, it's a crap ton of convoys. Create the Asian section? Sure, why not? Got her, dude? Nice. Is that an encirclement we see? By George, it is. And we can't win it for some god awful reason, so. Our soldiers are failing us right now. That's alright. Not really. But the protocol is on. With the bearing of Protestant Christianity seeing a further expansion among female white supremacists, it's time to stomp out the next great sector of local power. Political power. The Christian identitarians. With their influence in the wild league is troubling as their loyalty to non clan figures. We shall use their tales of being the true Jews to great effect by spreading their protocols of Zion. With an updated preface describing the elders of Zion desire to align themselves with those values. A stretch, yes, but one that may serve us in America. It's very costly. Three quarters of a million Americans have died. We've killed off nearly four million Americans, though, which is actually pretty good. Or not Americans, but enemies. Wow, we lost a crap ton of planes for that. Jesus Christ. Save our souls, go. We need to repopulate the world. Reds here? No, thank you. Oh. That should really help us out. Yeah, look at all that now. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we need, we're missing a crap ton of artillery, aren't we? 
So uh, America could use still use a lot more building. Church of the Fire Across. Fall of Rio, nice. Christian compromise. Unitarians and Catholics still hold many views on the covenant of the Patriot, but they may keep the church so long as they do not denote to or endorse. Or donate to or endorse liberal cause and allow clans into the pews, alongside obeying existing confirmations. Let's make it easier to cultivate the ties with the right wing Catholics in the New England area to combat socialist influence while expanding your own. Not bad. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Make it even stronger here. Huh, the loss of the militia. Yeah, we're gonna wait quite a while for them. And again, we could just go over here and do all these focuses, but we'll probably just, just focus cons commands. Uh, press for Greenland, yeah. Lead the Boers, yeah. Nice job, guys. Reinhard Heydrich, way to be on the other side of history. Ah. Go to Alaska, because you can. Very good. Well, making quite a few factors now. Got quite a few comments though to talk about as we slowly watch Brazil die. As it probably should. Such as, uh, let's see, the greatest American in post-World War II, and if it wasn't murdered, it would have been won in 1972 and seen a country freed. Well, he's a pretty cool American. Uh, so also, he's a, he's a gamer. Yes, he is. Him, uh, George Lincoln Rockwell, and Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm X got along pretty well, actually, because they went to each other's rallies and stuff. Uh, someone else has base video. He will reincarnate in these dire times. My God, if only. Um, let's continue with Presser Greenland. The importance of securing the land cannot be understated. Especially after Western Europe went red. Let us send the silly charade by Lowe and Denmark uh, to hold Greenland when they have virtually no need of it and a republic could use it to actual use. Same diplomats to pressure them to surrender the territory. Denmark, we're actually at war with you, which sucks. And you probably say no to us, but whatever. That's fine. You all, though, are going to go down here. Cool. Just to get ready for them, because we do have quite a few guys to go through and wait for. Um, actually, if anything, I'm going to actually have you guys come down here. Because we'll have the main group go up north. Rest for Greenland. And they'll probably reject us. Stop interrupting. Cool. Leave the Boers. The Boers are one of the few people brave enough to stand up only for the same values as us, but sad they're under attack in their own nation despite all they've done. And we're brought from leftist fanatics who insist on mythical racial equality. We'll invite them to our new alliance that will be mutually beneficial. Destiny of the Anglo world. Great Britain and France have the potential to be great nations, but sadly brought into, bought into Marxism instead and now threatens to destroy us all. American leadership in the Anglo-French world is what is needed here. Aye, amen. Broken our ciphers, no one cares though. They reject us. South Africa's rejected our offer, and quite foolishly so, since we are one of the few willing to defend their free citizens from uprisings. Perhaps we should them regardless. Let them go. We will incorporate them. Yeah, I can do that for now. Um, destroy the Legion. While many admire the Black Legion and its closest allies for going to the extreme to defend whiteness, they have simply become uncontrollable alongside having already attempted to subjugate their own clan. They'll be forced to disband in favor of more mainstream clan organizations while. Uh, oh, it's my bad. Um, while the radical renegades will be dealt with. Christian Compromise. Of course, we read that one earlier. White Citizens Councils. Legacy to civil, dis dis uh, civil disobedience. Let's shook the 30s. I stay with the members of the White Citizens Council. The White Citizens Council is taking up the torch to discourage citizens from supporting integration while allowing a meeting place for white society local policies that do not go against clan doctrine. We should provide them with further tax exemptions. Ceasefire with black militants. 
A recent feuding of the black population in America does not bode well for our stability and the safety of our cause. This conflict can be created by or ended by creating a white America. In pursuit of this goal, we should meet the, with the leaders and agree not to apply the black codes to areas designated as black regions, so long as they see solid terrorist act actions while we work out a solution to the current crisis. Uh, Liberia Plan uh, A solution to how to deal with black Americans has been proposed since the founding of America to finally allow and follow through with sending the black population to Liberia. In the short term, it may be costly, but in the long term, white Anglo Saxons will always be the rulers of a stable America. Of course, while some black nationals will agree to the plan under certain conditions, others may be less keen. Amnesty for patriotic corporations. There are plenty of corporations who simply ended on the wrong side of the war to combat the soldiers that are out of fear of MacArthur or liberal sellouts. We'll offer them amnesty so long as they pledge to support pro white policies and allow whites to organize in a non leftist union so that they may protect their interests or their economic share of the pie. True corporatism. We must set the economy on a path that is both functional and patriotic. Why should be encouraged to form patriotic unions in order to protect them from capitalists who may be expected to pay a minimum amount to white workers? Representatives of minorities who have learned their place will be dealt with separately, so long as they do not expect the same privileges or unionize. A clan education. Our children must learn true American values as well as by historical criminals who attempted to undo, undo our nation, such as MacArthur, Grant, and Lincoln. The place of the, of the clan in defending American history is, and required reading from pro-white point of view is in, of absolute necessity, alongside a focus on creating auxiliary organizations in higher education, family programs. The failure of the old clan was considered by the Triple K merely a militia society when it was societal for the white race. However, that can only be true if the clan sees a massive expansion in membership among the Native po American Protestants. The organization will expand its Child League, host celebrations ranging from the small to the large, and provide family benefits to due paying members, and co cooperation from afar. With American black population increasingly residing in Liberia, we could follow the suggestions of some nationals on both sides of the aisle and prove relations with the state. <clears throat> for both the resources and a shared front against syndicalism and integration. In return, they would undoubtedly want uh, some f something from us, but normally a nominal ally would be useful as we are uh, short on them right now. Interesting. Uh, Arthur F. Loop, a senior arrested. Founding member of the Black Legion in Michigan, Arthur F. Loop Sr. has been arrested today for collaborating in a conspiracy to bring down the government. While Virgil Effinger gained great fame and Loop within the Legion, and eventually arrest controlled most of the Michigan Legion. Effinger, Effinger's recent fall from grace left Loop a more prominent member. Loop's arrest are coincided with the raid of nearby Legion cells that appeared to challenge the power of the young clan, leaving the moment broken and leaderless. Very good. So on the L said from a comment said that they'd, uh, they would love a yucky campaign. Read Imperium and on Spangler's decline of the West. And someone else says, Godspeed, Commander. Someone else says we should play in Old World Blues as a cause. Yeah, that would be really cool. Someone else says, Happy belated birthday, Mr. Rockwell. Uh, so also said he liked a pure Huey Long campaign as well. Um, someone else says, My VW hate bus like that video. Someone else says, Nightmare Fuel. Um, someone says, can you give me the link to the old clan campaign? Because I can't find it. Eh, it's somewhere on my channel. Just, I forget w when I did it, but it was a while ago. Someone else said, King. And someone else says, Mega Based. Holy Based. The Last Real American. Very cool. Very, very nice, my friends. Separate Fire Mains. Very nice. Oh, look at China. Well, kind of would assume that they would die. But we'll resume together when... We go to war with Argentina. Papal deal. The Papacy's welcome and are slightly relaxing and religious intolerance since George Lincoln Rockwell took power, but they wonder if we can, can't go a step further with archbishops requesting we allow large congregations of Catholics to meet in public for holidays and other events. Many are opposed, though, if we're willing to pay a fee for tolerance, it may be worth the price. Let me pay for the village. For the, no. 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 You can't buy us. You cannot buy me. You cannot buy us. You cannot buy any of us. I have to take down the last bastion. One of the last bastions of reds here. What is going on here? Ah, it's a, oh, it's a motorized. That makes sense. Move force defense. What a choice. Literally, what a choice. Wow. Deutsche Middle Africa will. United States of Liberia. Not looking so hot. Should be a, a way you can get a peace deal between uh, weekly stability goes up by one percent. That's so nice. Um, like Germany, you go to war with them as wow, my God, this looks so disgusting. Um, like peace with whoever's the dominant power in Europe, um, just for like all North and South America. I like that, but that's probably just me.
Uh, so yeah, probably use uh, Consequence for all this stuff. Marshals of the Red State. A glance has seen expansion, but nonetheless suffers each chapter having a bit too much autonomy. This breeds leadership crises, and the habit of the clan changing by region makes it look arbitrary at times, either being too soft or harsh in such a way as to lose public support. Therefore, the Marshals of the Red Shirts shall act as inspectors for clans and their sectors, taking orders from the American Emperor himself. Birth of a Nation, which is a good movie. The dream of Thomas Dixon Jr. has been completed. The Triple K reigns supreme in no minority liberal socialists on the right mile, dare pose it. With the induct- introduction of an amended constitution, the White Leagues will never again operate in the dark, or our celebration should be national, and the Triple K recognizes the fraternity of America, with its opponents suspect of treachery. Fun Racial Sciences. If clan views are to be seen as legitimate, it would need not only be having the political backing, but scientific backing as well. Unfortunately, many so-called biologists and related scientists seem opposed to our position and will be replaced or commanded by those who do, do seek to understand racial sciences using nation, nation funding, which they will espouse to the public. Nice. Starnes Pass. Alabama Representative Joe Starnes has been a loyal member of the ODP for years, but his past being increasingly questioned by members of the NDWL. Well, Starnes has defended the Klan. He was also responsible for commanding a unit of soldiers who defended the black Scottsboro boys from being killed by the vigilante mobs after they accused of killing two white women. After uh, most of the anti-Klan factions probably consider the boys who have been innocent, it makes a little difference, as they've already been executed nonetheless. Starnes standing against mobs looks to avenge white honors that stretch too far for even many. Uh, even if he claims it was out of legal duty only. And some are wondering if we should force him to step down from his position. Let him go. Have him step down. Why do they want to fight us? They knew they'd lose in the end. They should have just given up. Fools. You know, all of them. Yeah, I'm good to order them too, but I'm interested. Teacher policy. Well, the new American education pro- policy, our curriculum is expanded to push pr- explicitly pro clan white supremacists or supremists' point of view. However, there's the issue of the older teachers still being present, many of whom had liberal connections prior to the war. Um, it's doubtful that they will eventually uh, will enthusiastically teach their new tenants, and they may try to avoid teaching them at all. As such, we could appoint a committee headed by John Rankin to examine the centers of education teachers. The committee will ensure teachers keep up with the new standards, rewarding those who do and punishing those who don't. The only question is what to do with the teachers we already know would be skeptical of our ideas. As addressing them in mass would leave us with a shortage of teachers in larger classes. Just set, just set up as... No. You lose a debuff to the research people. Whatever. It's worth it. Save America. It's worth it. Oopsie. Oopsie. Should not have done that. But whatever. Whatever. Ah, we're near the end of the campaign anyways. Doesn't matter. Clan Cinema. While in the 20s, Hollywood promoted such felt that has been, long since been banned, and also created some of our greatest pictures such as W.D. or uh, Griffith's Birth of a Nation. We should not discard, but build Hollywood as a place of wide nationalist media through a federally funded broadcast corporating, or corporation that will oversee the development of new media under government guidelines and with clan inspectors present. And before we do the last focus there, and use a bunch of cons commands, get ready to take out Uruguay. Let's get rid of these guys here too. Nice. Of Argentina? Nope. Military occupation. Pacific Islands, we never got Hawaii back, but that's okay for now. Family programs, my friends. Family programs. Without family, America's lost. Nice. Very soon we'll be able to go to war as well. Three days left. Martin Eshegoyen. Not bad. Hello? <coughs> Surprised we're not doing any damage. Force him through. Mere hundred thirteen thousand have died. Good job, guys. 
So now we're part of the campaign where we're, I'm pretty much done conquering. The Americas have never looked better, uh, even though we could probably grab this too, but you know, whatever. Here, right over here. In the meantime, we'll set these guys to defend our shores because the Germans, well, I don't know why the Germans got so uppity about their stuff, but they don't like us. And they really want to defend our new territory. They really wanted to take it over for some reason. Not sure if I understand why, but you know what? They can fight the Japanese. Japanese and Germans can go kill each other's off. Cool. Fortress America. A real Fortress Americas. Now this is what I call Manifest Destiny. Oh yeah, we're down here too. I forgot about that. 70. Alright. Don't have to get all this. As well. Yeah. Before we continue going on, true corporatism, yes. More carriers, my goodness. We love building up carriers like crazy. Shell dies. There you go. Cool. Well, there you go. God's commands. FA. Going through all this stuff real quick. And if we want to do another one as well, it doesn't really matter at this point. But that was a good head. And see for any more events that might pop up very soon. That very plan is over because we're kind of gone for now, which does suck. Give it about a few weeks and then we should be good to go and end the campaign. Obviously, we didn't spend that long with this campaign, but I mean, there's really not much else for George Lincoln Rockwell, true American. So, there might not be anything else here. But let's get at least one more research thing going. 50 things there. Not bad. Maxed out pretty much everything else here. But, like someone said, it'd be cool to play as Yaki. And I do plan on playing Yaki eventually. It just took me a long time to get to this point in the campaign to actually get to where we were at. So, I guess there's no other sort of events for us, which does kind of suck. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. And another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.